10 Most Impressive Mega Construction Projects in Mozambique. Mozambique, officially the Republic of Mozambique, is a country located in southeastern Africa bordered by the Indian Ocean to the east, Tanzania to the north, Malawi and Zambia to the northwest, Zimbabwe to the west, and Eswatini, Swaziland, and South Africa to the southwest. The sovereign state is separated from the Comoros, Mayotte, and Madagascar by the Mozambique Channel to the east. The capital and largest city of Mozambique is Maputo. Mozambique is endowed with rich and extensive natural resources. The country's economy is based largely on agriculture, but industry is growing, mainly food and beverages, chemical manufacturing and aluminium and petroleum production. The tourism sector is also expanding. There are currently more than 60 billion US dollars of active projects in Mozambique under threat due to security concerns because of religious insurgents that have plagued the northern gas-rich parts of the country over the last couple of years. These events have a disastrous effect on the blooming gas sector. Population growth exceeds 30% over the next decade, which requires investment in infrastructure and developing the economy. Notwithstanding the projects still hold and here are 10 mega development projects in Mozambique. Welcome to Thinkridge Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business and personal development content to inform, motivate and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship rather than global pity is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you are missing out. Ten, water services and institutional support. The objectives of the second water services and institutional support project are to increase water service coverage in key cities in Mozambique's territory, strengthen the institutional and regulatory capacity for water supply services in the northern, central and southern regions of Mozambique, and support Mozambique to respond promptly and effectively to an eligible crisis or emergency. There are five components to the project, the first component being rehabilitation and expansion of water supply production and distribution. The second component is the institutional support. This component will also support project management, supervision for contracts under Component 1, audits, training, and various technical studies as needed, as well as technical assistance to FIPAG for the implementation of environmental and social safeguards. The third component is the output-based payments for low-income household connections. The objective of the component is to increase access to piped water connections for low-income households in the cities of the central and northern regions of the recipient and in the Maputo region by providing output-based payments to the regional utilities to support the provision of water services to the poor by facilitating the uptake of connections for low-income households through grant payments to reimburse the costs of eligible connections. Finally, the fourth component is the Contingent Emergency Response Zero Budget. 9. Temin Regional Electricity Project, TREP The development objective of the Temin Regional Electricity Project for Mozambique is to enhance transmission capacity for domestic and regional markets and increase electricity generation capacity through private sector participation. The project comprises of three components. The first component, Temin Transmission Project, includes construction of approximately 563 km of a 400 kV single-circuit power transmission line between Maputo and Villantolos, near Temin. The second component, Temin Thermal Power Plant CTT, Power Generation Plant, includes construction of a 400 MW gas-to-power generation plant. The third component, Implementation Support, Technical assistance and capacity building consists of following subcomponents. 1. Support to National Enterprise for Electricity Transmission, SNTE, for project implementation. 2. Technical assistance to Electricity of Mozambique, ADEM, and 3. Technical assistance to Ministry of Mineral Resources and Energy, Meyerman Energy Regulatory Authority, IRENE. Together, the power plant and transmission line will bring in 1.4 billion US dollars in new investment into the Mozambican power sector. 8. Temi Maputo Transmission Line Project The Temi Transmission Project 
TTP consists of a 563 kilometer, 400 kV single circuit HVAC high voltage alternating current transmission line between Villancolos to Buda Madalay Maputo, associated with three new 400 kV substations at Villancolos to Buda and Madalay, an expansion of the existing Maputo substation. The project will allow for the evacuation of 400 megawatts from the envisaged Central Termica Temming CTT, project which will reinforce generation capacity in the country and in the region via the utilization of Mozambique's endogenous gas resources. The project is also expected to have significant positive economic impacts along the route, unleashing industrial developments that are currently constrained by lack of a reliable power supply solution in the geographic area covered. The TTP will also allow security and reliability of electricity supply and the establishment of economic development zones along the envisaged T-Line route. In these areas, it will contribute to unlock the agricultural potential of rural areas and the creation of higher value jobs. The main components of the project are substations, transmission lines, financing costs, and other costs. The objective of the project is to strengthen the country's transmission capacity to efficiently and reliably meet the domestic demand for electricity and export power to the Southern Africa Power Pool SAP, whilst also promoting private sector participation in the development of the country's and regional power system. 7. National Integrated Feeder Road Development Project the government of Mozambique is planning to undertake the development of the feeder roads in Nampula and Zambezia, Mozambique. The project involves the rehabilitation work, drainage systems and related facilities, and the installation of signaling systems. The project is being funded by the World Bank, and it is planned for development in phases. The first phase includes the rehabilitation and maintenance of rural roads in targeted areas in Zambezia and Nampula provinces. The second phase includes rehabilitation of the National Road 1 in the sections of Chimura to Nikodala, 169 km, and Quelamane to Namakura, 70 km. The project also includes the financing for the rural transport services, institutional strengthening activities for management of rural roads. 6. Greater Maputo Water Supply Project in the capital town of Maputo, the population is growing fast and the city expands mostly on the northwestern side. The current Maputo water supply system provides water to the southern areas of Maputo Metropolitan only and there is no public water supply system in the northwestern side of the city. In addition to the lack of a public water system, raw water resources in the northwestern areas are not available. This project concerns the development, construction and operation of the Kurumana system. This system consists of a raw water intake and transmission system, a drinking water treatment plant with a capacity of 60,000 meter cube, a clear water distribution main, six distribution centers, distribution networks and water connections for domestic, public and commercial industrial use. When the project is first completed, it will provide drinking water to 365,000 people in Maputo. This figure will increase to 550,000 people by the year 2022, when the maximum design capacity is reached. The aim of the project is to provide high-quality drinking water at a lower price than currently provided by private water suppliers. Furthermore, it is aimed to lower the walking distance to the water source. 5. Mapadu Urban Transformation Project Urbanization has not benefited everyone equally in Maputo as the city has expanded informally, without effective urban planning and the necessary investments in basic infrastructure and land tenure security. In 2020, the World Bank approved a 100 million US dollar grant from the International Development Association IDA, in support of Maputo Urban Transformation Project. The project will finance critical urban infrastructure investments in the city and support the implementation of municipal reforms. This investment will ultimately contribute to harness the role of Maputo as the country's economic powerhouse by investing in urban infrastructure and services. 4. Teak Coal Power Plant Developed by a joint venture of Enkendezi Energy, CMEC and General Electric, the project will include a coal mine and 300-megawatt power plant in the northern Teak province. 
the power station's design includes the option to increase capacity to 1,800 megawatt in the future. The main contractor is China Machinery Engineering, and the power offtaker is Electricity de Mockambique. This large-scale project will be developed in phases, starting with a 300 megawatts integrated mine and power plant, with the potential to expand to an 1,800 MW power plant. The power plant will use a modern and proven circulating fluidized bed, CFB, technology which will use state-of-the-art emission control technologies and comply with OECD guidelines and the most stringent IFC and World Bank guidelines for coal power plants. Coal will be supplied from the development of an adjacent open-pit coal mine producing 1.5 million tons per annum. The power plant will be located about 92 kilometers square away from the local transmission network. The project plans to sell 100% of power generated to electricity of Mozambique EDM, through a 25-year power purchase agreement PPA. This power project has a unique advantage over other potential power projects in the region because it is entirely focused on supplying Mozambique's growing energy demands over the short to medium term. It can be delivered in a reasonably short time frame and the power plant can be scaled up in 300 megawatts units. 3. Fanda Kiwa Hydroelectric Dam The Fanda Kiwa Hydropower Project is a 1,500 megawatts run of the river hydroelectric facility proposed to be built on the Zambezi River in the Tiet province of Mozambique. The 2.4 billion US dollar project will be developed by a special purpose vehicle, SPV, comprising the state owned Electricité de Mozambique, EDM, Hydroelectrica de Capora Bassa, HTB and a strategic partner yet to be selected on a limited recourse project finance basis. The government of Mozambique created a new entity called Fandakua Hydroelectric Project Implementation Office GMNK, to coordinate the project development in 2019. The Mozambican authorities also appointed a consortium of four companies to provide legal, financial, and engineering consulting and advisory services to GMNK for the Fanda Cuba project in September 2019. Construction on the project was expected to start this year, with completion in 2028. The proposed site for the Fanda Cuba hydroelectric dam is located approximately 60 kilometers downstream from the Cahora Bassa Dam and 70 kilometers upstream from the Teat Town. On the Zambezi River, Mozambique, the left bank of the dam will fall in the Chiuta district, while the right bank will be located in the Chingara district. The reservoir of the project will further extend to the Kahora Bassa and Moravia districts. 2. Coral South Floating Liquefied Natural Gas Project Coral South is the first project launched in the country's offshore that develops and produces significant hydrocarbon resources. The floating vessels will operate in ultra-deep waters exceeding 2,000 meters. Coral South FLNG will be the first such on the African continent and the third in the world. Coral Sol FLNG will be 432 meters long and 66 meters wide and weigh about 220,000 tons overall. The accommodation module will have eight floors with room for 350 people. It will be anchored about 2,000 meters deep with the help of 20 lines weighing 9,000 tons combined. Coral South was the first project approved by our Area 4 partners for developing gas resources discovered in the Ravuma Basin off Mozambique's coast. The project involves producing and selling gas from the southern part of the coral field, using a floating plant for liquefying natural gas LNG, with a capacity of 3.4 million tons, linked to six subsea gas-producing wells. The startup phase of the project began in 2017, just three years after drilling the last test well. The project has reached a progress of more than 80% and the production startup is expected in 2022. The Coral South project has provided specialist training for more than 800 Mozambican workers, who will be employed in the project's operational phase. We are also committed to a huge program of work for local communities to improve their access to basic services such as education, clean water and healthcare, and support long-term, diversified, sustainable socioeconomic growth. 1. Ravuma Liquid Natural Gas 
Developed through a joint venture with Total as the lead is a massive 12.88 million tons per annum liquefied natural gas project was due to reach a final investment decision in 2020. The FID has been delayed several times due to security concerns and the impact COVID-19 had on hydrocarbon markets. A joint venture company CCS JV SCARL is the engineering, procurement and construction EPC contractor. The project concerns the extraction and liquefaction of gas from Area 4 in the Ravuma Basin located in the northern area of the country. The initial phase of the Ravuma Liquid Natural Gas Project will develop the Mamba Reservoirs in Area 4. The project also involves an independent plan to develop part of the reserves that straddle Area 1, as well as some additional reserves. This will help provide reliable and affordable energy for the people of Mozambique and for the project's co-venturers and create long-term economic benefit for the area. ExxonMobil will lead the construction and operation of onshore facilities and related liquefaction trains for the Ravuma Liquid Natural Gas Project, while any will lead upstream developments and operations. Ravuma Liquid Natural Gas also provides for the construction of two onshore trains, powered by 24 underwater wells, for the treatment, liquefaction, storage and export of liquid natural gas, each with a total capacity of approximately 7.6 million tons per year. The project was approved by the government in 2019. The Ravuma Liquid Natural Gas Project aims to create jobs locally through focused recruitment and skills training. The development plan details our commitment to train, build and employ a local workforce and make gas available in support of Mozambique's industrialization plans. After watching this video I hope you see the potential Africa passes, so be a proud African and work each day to make your continent a better place. Thanks for watching please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and turn on post notifications so as not to miss out on any of our amazing videos on Africa, entrepreneurship and personal development. Help our channel grow.